No, I was gonna say it's a really strong first episode. Like I was like really hooked throughout the whole episode, and I'm already like this is already one of my tops mm-hmm. just from the first episode. Yeah, right. Me too. Like, how can one episode do that? Like, literally, by the end of the first episode, I was already trying to like hop into the manga and read that. Stratton had to yell at me. I'll wait till the end of the season. But like, I literally cannot wait for more episodes to come out. It was that good of an opening episode. What was it that you said when I basically when you were making fun of uh, me for making the comment question or the, with the? I talked about the people who tried from the first episode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because Stratton had told me before we watched it that people had cried in response to the first Crunchyroll episode. Crunchyroll posted like, it, yeah. And I was like, seriously? <laughs> like, it's just one episode, and then I freaking cried during it. <laughs> Twice, I think. Yeah. It was a pretty big emotional hit. It was, because uh, uh, at first, like, because uh, first, like, when the, was it, when the, uh, when they kind of opened up with the wolf, with the wolf dying, I thought, I could, okay, maybe this is what Crunchyroll was talking about. This wasn't so bad. And then, so then that passed. And then, then when they were, you know, just traveling into like the middle of nowhere, and then you basically see like all those gravestones up. He's like, "Oh man, somebody else was here." I'm thinking, "Oh my god, please!" I, I, I kept thinking like he doesn't know, but he actually did know. He just tried like held that positive mindset, and just then just starts bawling. I was like, "Oh god, okay, this is pretty fucking bad." And then the end of the fucking episode, I was like, "God <laughs> damn!" I was, I just, it just kept getting worse and worse. <laughs> Like, so, all right, let's be real. Did any of you guys even think he was going to survive? Yes. Like, I, you guys thought he was going to survive? I, 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 yes. I, 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 I knew, the minute, I I knew the, part, the minute that he was... Or go ahead, David. I, was, I thought the power of anime was going to save him at the end. I thought he was going to, like... I thought he was going to feel sick yeah. Yeah, no. from, his, from his cold, and then I thought he would just recover. Well, and then in the story, the minute, him the wolf. When we learn about him, of why he was left behind, because he was, you know, bitten by Joan, and he had to stay with all the other elders. But the minute he was even explaining this... Idealist, or idealistic kind of journey of you know this utopia across you know the frozen continent i was just thinking to myself like the pioneers back in the day i'm like there's no way you know these mobos made it across like this frozen <laughs> like tundra and you know as we get later on you know like it becomes more and more apparent of like yeah like there's there's no way and even you know the the main character is starting to come to that realization as, as positive as he can be or as positive as he wants to be for not only himself but also for you know joan his his only kind of companion left at this point oh. um you know it's it's totally in my mind like you, you knew it was gonna happen. Uh, the, like, the one, the one gripe, I, the one gripe I have, real quick, David, is like they're on the frozen tundra, and this man still falls through the ice. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Come on. I mean, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. David. I was like, I, I mean, yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna make it to like the other people, but I don't know. I just had this idea that I thought, I thought he was gonna make it at the end, but yeah, I didn't think. Me, being... I didn't think he was gonna make it to other people, but I didn't think he was gonna be dead by the end of the episode. I thought. You know, I thought it was the MC. I thought it was the I, MC. Honestly, I yeah. thought he was gonna die earlier. I thought after he fell into the ice and he saw his leg, and then he finally made it to like the remnants of everybody else that tried to leave before him. I thought like out there he was just gonna succumb in the snow and then, you know, be dead. Like, I didn't think we were gonna make it all the way yeah, back. Yeah, that's why he made all the way back. And... Like it's not like he went so far just to get to that point and have him track all the way back. Yeah, that was yeah, crazy. But, um, but his death made it that much more like impactful. I think. Oh at that yeah, point. Like, yeah definitely, definitely. When he's you yeah. know sitting in his chair and he's just like, oh, you know, this is my chair. Like, look, look how cool, cool I way. am here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, yo, man, like, just, just pass on, man. It's okay. You've done enough. <laughs> just move on. And then it was funny, you know, because you know Joe on this being, he didn't really have any emotions at that point. He's kind of just like, oh, okay, like cool, dude. Because again, you know, he hasn't experienced what that human yeah. emotion is like. And I think if anything. That adds even more to the emotion of it when you think about it, of like when he does finally touch, you know, the dead MC and transforms into the MC, he's just hit with these waves of human emotions that he's never experienced for the first time. And now he's feeling, you know, that, you know, regret and kind of, you know, uh, yearning to achieve what this main character wanted to do to explore and see, you yeah. know, the, the greater world. So, but I, I, I can definitely was, see how it resonates with people and why yeah, they would get emotional. Yeah, and, and Joan even said, like, at the beginning, like, when he first walked in that tent, he basically said it was, like, home, and he didn't, like... like it just felt like he never wanted to leave. Like, mm-hmm. he just, uh, um, like, like, right when he walked into that, uh, that, like, little hut house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's, like, kind of slow. Also, like, the, the voice that's narrating him, perfect. I love oh, that guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's so good. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, yeah, that, that's... I'm curious really if, like, if the new character the new human form i wonder if he's, if he's got to talk if he's got to learn how to talk or he's just gonna say like the silent like character throughout the rest because i could see I, going I either way to talk eventually 
Because uh, when he was a dog, he was already like in the Didn't subtitles. He talk once? Yeah, he yeah, did he talk did. when he was yeah. eating, uh, but it doesn't uh, look yes. like the the boy picked it up. Yeah, uh, the boy like kind oh, okay. of he was like, "What?" and and it was just like, "Oh, whatever." Like, oh, oh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so, but you know? he was trying to mimic, yeah, what the boy was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm sure he'll eventually pick it up. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, but if it, anything though, like if this is a like preview of like how the story plays out with each episode. I do not want to watch the. I do not want to watch the next episode because apparently the next episode is about this little girl who is chosen me to sacrifice. Yeah. Right? Yep. A boy dies, you know, it's, it's whatever. You know, I've been there, okay, done that. Sir. But if a little girl dies, like, no way, okay, I'm there, I can handle it. <laughs> well, hopefully this uh, this we greater being that's now taken on, you know, the boy's image, he he starts to intervene more now as he learns more about the world and stuff. Yeah, surely um, it doesn't mean that he's gonna like take somebody else's place each episode, right? I mean, surely yeah. it'll be. A time I would hope not. Like... I feel like that would be pretty weak. Yeah, yeah. writing. I don't know. Yeah. I, think, I, think, uh, I think it'd be interesting, just the episodic format, just exploring more of each different like tribe and places. Yeah, I think it's gonna be very. If you've ever watched uh, Kino's Journey. Or, yes, um, I was thinking the same thing. It might be a lot like or that. Or that one recent show that was about like the magic girl, Elena. Elena. Oh, yeah. It, it's yeah. very similar. Except, to the except I think styles. hopefully be more likable than she was. <laughs> yeah, but, but I feel like it's going to be very similar to styles as Dave was just mentioning, where now Joan, as we're just going to, until we know what this being takes on as his new name, because we never mm-hmm. knew what the name of the, the boy was. Right. Um, it, it very well could be like, you know, this episodic focus of him experiencing, you know, these different kind of, uh, things in life and you know further doing what his mission was from the first place you know to go down to to earth and really kind of soak in as much information as possible and i think that is kind of what we're going to have in store probably yeah Um, i don't i don't think there's going to be like some huge overarching plot i think it is going to be more an episodic focus of different Mm -hmm. elements of life in human interaction Yep. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of meandering. And I kind of like that. I like the pacing of that, actually. Like, I like that feel. We should uh, we should also mention, too, that uh, we do the podcast on Sundays and we post this on Mondays. So uh, uh, episodes air on Mondays. So when you hear this, episode two will already be out. <laughs> oh, that is right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's there's that. But just wanted to cover that real quick. If you're wondering, mm-hmm. like, what, like, listening to this, like, what the fuck? The second episode's already out. <laughs> And then that that is the reason why. But do you guys think uh what do you think his next form is gonna be? Because at the end of the episode, uh the narrator says that for him to transform, like he needs to reach certain conditions where he needs to be stimulated enough. Mm-hmm. So do you guys think he's gonna transform anymore or is that kind of like it for his evolution? I think this is it. Yeah, I think, I think this is it too. Because, I mean, the, the whole thing when he took over that form was basically because he wanted to travel everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have him tra- you're going to have him transform after one location. Come on. Because then it not, would also be possible. weak too towards like whoever you transfer to. Like if you were just carrying on that latest transformations ambitions, I feel like mm-hmm. that would be also kind of weak and yeah. more to then you would have even more of a fragmented, like overarching plot of this being. Yeah. So, so should we just toss aside that that what I think is like important information that was tossed at the end then? Well, I think it was more of just like uh just tell, like letting us know that the uh, the guy that he transformed into like that's like that's how strong his feelings were. Mm-hmm. Um to tra- to just uh, transfer over into it. No. I mean, I could definitely yeah. see both ways happening. It's obviously way too early to tell, but mm. I mean, I hope he doesn't change again. I, I I would actually prefer him just like how Justin uh, Justin and Taylor have said that just, just leave him as this kid. Well, I was <laughs> he had a huge just, impact, man. I was just thinking that like in order for him to gain to to have those strong feelings again, he's going to have to go through a lot of different experiences in this form. So at the very uh-huh. least, for like a season of anime for like this season, I feel like he would be in that form and gaining those emotions and experiences over this arc and then like i i looked when i looked up the manga there's i can't remember how much but there's a lot of volumes like it's long running and so i was i feel like he might change forms a couple of times throughout that but i don't know that we'd see it in the anime you know okay. like i yeah. feel like it would maybe end with something like that yeah well i guess the other thing in the last point i'll say of why i don't think he would change forms in terms of like a much larger period of time like you were mentioning taylor with how much content is out there is that 
it would then be kind of tough to explain a narrative of why would he go to different locations for each form? Because I imagine not every individual in potentially, you know, for this next girl who's going to be sacrificed, she's her probably goal is, you know, one, she obviously probably doesn't want to die as part of, you know, her tribe's <laughs> no. rituals. Um, but she probably wants to, you know, I imagine still stay with that sense of family. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it is much more stronger for this first character that Joan has now transformed into for that. The, as Threaten mentioned, their main goal is to go out and meet new people and explore the world. And so, like, that is the perfect kind of vessel for this individual to go out and do that. Well, even, yeah, for the, just like, kind of like how the show set it up, itself up to be. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, no, I, I think the, the hype was, was well deserved. The, the, Damn, uh, the feels. knowing, the knowing feels. that the author was the same as a silent voice, like it, it shows like, you know, yeah. he's, he's not, uh, he's not, you know, dancing around anything from an emotional impact. Like we all saw it coming and it still wasn't, <laughs> so I still wasn't ready. <laughs> We all also uh, love the the opening with uh, Utada Hikaru. So yes. ending it was you know. the ending or opening? It well, I think it's going to be the opening, but it was the oh, ending. You know how okay. they do that for like first right, episodes. Right. Sometimes they'll play the yep. opening at the end. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, finally, good to see her. You know, branching out further from uh, just the, every time she comes <laughs> back every you know ten years for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. Well, she she did uh, Evangelion uh, one the Evangelion oh, movie too. That's like the last one. Ooh. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Was like any of the first Evangelion reboot movie. So, okay, okay, but yeah, You're great, great to have such a yeah. uh, well-renowned individual, you know, adding her uh, her specialty to a I show. Mean, like hey, this. she's been busy for a mm -hmm. kid, all right. <laughs> Truth. 